pong, I said a pip, the pong, pip, pip, the pong, sing along, pip, the pong, pip, pip, the pong, I said a pip, the pong, pip, pip, the pong, I said a pip, the pong, pip, pip, the pong, pip, the pong, pip, 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 That was just a uh, microwave in Welsh. That's <laughs> <laughs> why so you shouldn't believe men with microphones. <laughs> um, yeah, I, um, I stole a frog as a child. Um, we'll get on to the real stuff. I don't know why, why I did it, um, why I was driven to that action. It was a, it was a theft, I won't lie. I didn't, I didn't liberate him from a little child, a frog home, I suppose it would be. The story of Frog Beaker. <laughs> no, I, I took him home um, and I kept him in like a little, little Tupperware box and I put some clean film, some holes so he could breathe. And um, I went out to bed and came down to bed the next day from bed. <laughs> bed downstairs. I wasn't ill as a child, didn't I? Um, <laughs> I came down and he was gone. He was gone, bless him. I thought, Mum must have got rid of him. She's not a xenophobe. She just doesn't want amphibians in the house. <laughs> but he was gone. Um, and you know, it probably was my mum, but I do like to imagine that he escaped. And he went to some sort of frog embassy and told him all the terrible things I did to him. <laughs> so, yeah. Now it's weird as a child because you, uh, you realise like strange things you can do. And as a child, I, I started to see like things that I thought I was the first person doing. So I realised that I can make this noise. <coughs> that noise. <laughs> if you speed that up, <laughs> that's a pretty good pig impression. <laughs> right? Um, it, it turns out both my nan and my mum could do it. So, third generation piglet though. <laughs>